Hey there. Um, this time I want to talk about my philosophy of the way I approach goals, how I basically make sure when I start a new goal or a new habit, how I make sure that I actually uh, get through with it rather than, you know, just start and kind of lose enthusiasm. So there's two ways where you can go about um, achieving goals or, or sticking to your goals. Uh, one way, which I like, is basically the, it's called Kaizen. It's where you start with the smallest actions possible. You basically set like a minimum target for yourself. Where, for example, you say, okay, let's say you want to get more fit. So you say, okay, so every day I'm going to have to work out for five minutes, just five minutes. And you, you, you can even lower that even further. But the thing is, you're setting a minimum where you're like, I'm, no matter what, I'm not going to work out less than five minutes a day or two minutes a day or one minute a day. It doesn't matter as long as you have a certain uh, threshold where you will not break it. You know, no matter what happens, you're going to stay consistent and actually do the thing you're supposed to do. And on good days where you're kind of enjoying yourself, you can do more, you know. So nobody says you... People confuse when they hear, you know, you have to do five minutes a day minimum. They, people always think like, oh, that's the minimum. So that means that, you know, uh, how is five minutes a day going to work? <laughs> but that's not the point. It's not about the five minutes. It's about setting a minimum for you fucking, you know, procrastinators and 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 un inconsistent people, uh, which I'm part of. I used to be at least. So you set this minimum and then it's achievable now because you take away the anxiety part of it. You take away the part where it's scary and you're like, shit, it, I don't want to do it today. It's too much, you know, and then you're, you're in trouble. Um, because again, the only way to build a habit is to actually, you know, repeat it and keep doing it again and again and again. Um, by the way, building a habit is not 30 days. Um, actual research, you know, not just self-development materials, actual medical research found out that it's more close to 60 65 days so uh just so you know now the the second part of here about creating um basically about maintaining goals is what i call massive action when i have a new goal um again uh, working out or it could be related to women could be related to business anytime i have a new goal anytime i have anything new that I want to add to my life obviously you're not doing the goal just to, to do it you're not reading just to read you're not meditating just to meditate you're not working out just to work out you're doing these things because you want a result so what I do is I basically prepare myself for massive attack from the start so for example when I um, went back to working out what I did was I started working out about two hours a day every single day and you know for you guys saying oh this this is extremely excessive you're gonna hurt yourself you know it's bad well the thing that happened you know obviously if you're not doing it properly you're gonna it's gonna be really shit but if you're doing it even fairly properly what's gonna happen when you take massive action is first of all you're gonna get very fast results so when you work out two hours a day every day it, it doesn't matter <laughs> um, how well you do it because just the, the the amount of action and effort you put in is basically going to compensate for anything you're not doing well which obviously if it's new to you you're not going to do well um, second thing is that by taking this massive action again you're going to see very very quick results and when you see quick results, that motivates you, at least for me. Um, I like quick results. Like, I, I'm, all, I, I'm all about consistency. I'm all about the long term. But, but you know, if, I, if I'm going to get a new habit, I want to see fast results. I don't want to get the habit and then say, okay, maybe one day I'm going to see the benefits. You know, you work out and in a few months, you're going to be a lot better looking. No, fuck that. I, I want to see results now. I want to, I want to see the proof. You know, I don't mean I want to lose like, you know, like the guys saying, you know, they lose 30 pounds in a week or 
gain five pounds of muscle in a week. No, that's not my goal. But my goal is to start seeing results immediately. And you do that by taking massive action. So, and again, as, an, as a balance, counterbalance, I also set the Kaizen, the minimum targets, where on the days that I'm, I don't feel like it, you know, like once, twice a week, I'm like, shit, you know, I'm, I'm really, <laughs> this really isn't a day for working out two hours. Well, in these times, I have this, the, the counterbalance. I'm saying, okay, so today you can work out a minimum of five minutes, and then it's fun and you feel good and you keep the habit going. And then the next day you work out for two hours. So you, you keep taking massive action. So again, that's what's cool about it. Like you create a goal, a new habit you want to achieve. You set a minimum, something you're not going to go below. But then you also set um, massive action plans. So you attack the habit massively. You're going to get lo loads of experience very fast. So you're going to do it better very quickly. Um, again, it's going to compensate for anything you're not doing well. And you're going to see very quick results, which for me, I don't like discipline. I like results. I like, I like seeing results now. Obviously, I am disciplined to some extent, but I, I don't like the, you know, pray and wait. You know, like, yeah, like just be disciplined. It's going to wor work out eventually. No, I want to see results now. If I see results now, I'm going to be motivated <laughs> with or without the habit. Again, the whole point is what you do before the 60 days it takes you to form the habit. So, so this gives me like a huge boost of motivation rather than this being like a battle of willpower and discipline where you're not seeing results and you just hope it will happen. So again, you're setting a goal, you know, you want a new girlfriend, you want to get fit, you want to make more money in business and you know, you need to make more calls. Um, you know, you want to get more relaxed and focused, so, you know, you're into meditation. Uh, you want to learn more, be smarter, so you want to read, you want to, you know, improve your health, so you want to eat better. Whatever it is, set a minimum goal. What is the minimum uh, target I have to reach that I can safely say, like, in my gut, in my instincts, I can safely say, 100% like I'm gonna be 100% consistent at that minimum at the bare minimum So whether it be if you want to eat healthier I'm gonna eat at least one apple a day. That's the minimum. I'm gonna you know I'm gonna try be a lot healthier, but the, the least I'm gonna do every single day is eat an apple No matter what Like you go to bed, you know, you forgot to eat the apple. You're like shit. I forgot to eat the apple Fuck it. You get up eat the apple See, that's how you maintain consistency. And then the habit forms. And again, on the second note, on the massive action level, uh, let's say you want to be more relaxed and focused so you get into meditation. Fuck it. Like, don't meditate for 20 minutes. You know, it's, it's, I'm not saying it's bad. I meditate for 20 minutes. But if I want to get the habit going, you know, if I want to see the benefit very quickly, I'm going to meditate for an hour. <laughs> You know, I'm gonna really fuck myself up like like I'm like shit like I can see what this is doing to me now <laughs> and you can immediately see the benefits um, or again you're gonna go to the gym don't go for like oh I'm new so I'm just gonna you know lift a bit of weight you know uh, no go to like two hours kill your body you know and you can and you're gonna feel it tomorrow and you're like shit I really did it <laughs> and then go and do it again you do that for a week a week you're gonna see results okay so define the minimum make sure you stick to it no matter what and attack it on a massive level to get pumped up and motivated and seek fast results before the habit kicks in see you later hope this helped you and feel free to ask me questions bye bye